Descent height 3,000 feet, reptile flight. One flight. Stop it there, shall we? Okay, my name's Tim Davies. Welcome to Fast Ship Performance. You're currently in a Hawk T2 out of RAF Valley from 4 Squadron. You've just finished an air combat maneuvering sortie where you are a hostile aircraft and you're recovering visually back to valley because you can, and you're very low on fuel, by the way. Your playmates, um, Reptile 1 and 2, are now a flight of two looking to perform a tape rolling go, looking to perform a visual recovery as a pair. Reptile 3, taking all train clears, descent approved, all navigation, report visual with the aerodrome. And now to the field, Reptile 3. And Reptile 3 to town. Reptile 3, continue Valley Tower, Scott 2. Valley Tower, Reptile 3, join. Reptile 3, Valley Tower, join. Array 1 3, QFA 1011, circuit clear. Join 1 3, 1011, Reptile 3. Okay, so I put sort of 2 up there, there's no other traffic around, so I've gone to tower early. <laughs> Okay, Pedro 92 is a rotary asset, so I'm dancing around the airfield. That's absolutely fine. So what I'm doing now is I'm rolling out and pointing just inside a Hollyhead. I'm on runway 13 today. The QFE is 1011. I'm in the descent. It's a nice slow descent, but I do have fuel problems. What I've done is I've set my bingo fuel for 200 kilograms. And if it goes bingo, bingo, then that means I need to divert to Mona if I haven't already landed. Okay, this is my playmates then out to the west. They're about 15 to 20 miles, I remember correctly, out to the west. So I'm trying to cut inside them because I have, as I said, got fuel issues. So trying to maintain about 350 knots in the descent. I'm looking to be 1,000 feet. And if you look at the diamond next to the aircraft symbol by the Vs on their side, that is where I'm going to end up right now. So the crosswind today is from the left. That's Pedro 92 just jamming up the frequency, which is very good of him. So really, there's nothing else around. I'm looking left out to RF Valley in the field. We have no, nothing in there at all today. So it's a very light traffic day, not usual of Valley. Okay, so really what I'm looking at now is um, just, as I said, the traffic in the field. I'm looking at the guys on the data link. They're going to be out to the right-hand side performing the visual recovery. I've set my fuel bingo down about 200 kilograms. And if I hear that, as I said, and I'm not on final approach, then I will have to divert to a different airfield. Uh, and really, I'm just making sure I've got a good descent on down to 1,000 feet. That's 1.3. It's me setting the course bar on the map to 1.3, just so I've got a, uh, something to line up on as I pretty much roll in at the field. Um, which is going to be in about 30 seconds. That's the back box then. That's my company frequency. So the formation frequency then trying to get themselves both together on stud two, which is the tower frequency. Reptile. Body tower, reptile, one flight, uh, push straight in approach. Reptile, one flight, valley tower, make straight approach from a one three, QFE one at zero one at one. Circuit clear, one joining, report one final sort of catches. One three, one two, one one, copy it, uh, okay. Reptile, one flight. Okay, Reptile, one flight is the flight of two bodies I was playing Reptile, with earlier. Reptile, every, every, go. That's them just slowing the jets down. Reptile, three initials. Reptile, three, surface wind, one zero zero nine knots. Three miles in, I'm turning in, I've called initials so anyone else can uh, see me. The wind is then slightly from the left and we'll see that on rollout pretty much. The diamond will be out to the right hand side. Pretty much putting myself on the right hand side of the runway, which is the dead side. You'll see the lights from the pappies, precision approach indicators just lighting up in a minute. I'll be using those for landing. Um, I can now be, by being on the right hand side, check that the whole of the downwind leg is clear of any other aircraft and that the runway is also clear. There's a truck crossing, I believe, at the end there. He's just crossed. Um, so we are we have got a clear runway. I can now break into the circuit 500 feet. I want to get to a thousand. So I roll pull I go idle with the throttle select air brake And I want to roll out about 315 downwind It's a 4G break, we have to use that, and that towards the end of that break, if you want to watch it again, you'll see I'm using more alpha on that, just to shed the speed off, to really get myself below 200 knots where I can configure the aircraft for landing. So let's pause it there then, shall we? Have a look at the HUD tape here. So 195 knots, I am below 200, and what I'll be saying now is be below 200, air brake in, and then, or air brake travels in, air brake in, 
as you know, we're quite hot on that limitation operation indication. I'll make sure it's in. I will travel the gear down. I will also immediately travel the flap from uh, from no flap at all to down flap and that's going to take about seven seconds and I'm going to tip in now to about six degrees nose down but I really can't pull any alpha or pull into the turn until the flap has really kind of traveled. Everything will be traveling now. I'm going to tip in. There's the e bar so the gear is traveling down. Select that attitude there. The flap travels and now I'm just really waiting to pull that in and this is the attitude we're looking at now. So I've got to wait really for some flap to travel before I can really pull against that e bar. Middle of the e-bar then is five alpha, and that's really what I'm looking to attain as I roll out. So you can see that we have a cadence of speed. The speed starts at around about 200 knots, but as I roll out, it's gonna be around about 130, because my approach speed today in this particular airplane is gonna be 121 plus one knots per 100 kilograms of fuel remaining. Now I've got about 200 kilograms of fuel. All stations, uh, information Delta, new QFE 1010, left three. Reptile 3, 1010, final, get out. Fox Systems, Reptile 3, clear to land, headwind 7. Land, Reptile 3. Reptile 1, flight 3, down, flight 1, flight 1010, copy. Now this is Aviate Navigate Communicate, so I've told him about 1010. I will set that, but I'm not setting that whilst I'm flying a crucial part of the final's turn. I acknowledge it. Once I'm in a more stable flight regime, I will then top right hand corner, set that uh, cure fee for landing. Let's pause the tape here then, shall we? This is the picture on rollout pretty much 130 knots the box desk is uh, about the brake pressure the brake pressure being 20 either side which is good for us today um, and we're rolling out about three reds and one white which is good for us today look at the vv the velocity vector on the threshold which is pretty much where i want it to be And that's just me talking about the barrier speed, about 110 knots now. So the brakes don't work. I can go into that barrier at 120 knots. I'm still stable. So look at this. Wind from the left. I'm going to check, kick, close. There's my check. Kick, oh, boot full of rudder. Close the throttle. Present the main wheels to the runway. Keep that nose up now because I want the nose up until about 100 knots because I'm presenting the plan form of the wing to the airflow, which is creating drag. And that's helping the aircraft to slow itself down. At 100 knots then, I'm going to put the nose wheel down. I'm going to keep it down. Bit of back stick. Left air on to wind. I'm going to keep that air on left into wind. There's the bingo, that is then 200 kilograms, and if I'd had that airborne and the airfield wasn't mine, I hadn't had clearance to land, I would have had to divert on that. So you can see how closely we run our fuel. It is taxpayers' money after all, and I am a taxpayer too. I don't want to waste cash, so we make sure we burn all the fuel we possibly can uh, out in the area uh, and make sure we come back on minimum fuel. Reptile 15, long final land. Reptile 15, Roger, the circuit now clear. Surface wind 100, nine knots. Report short final gear down. Okay, and that's pretty much it, guys. I really appreciate you watching. By all means, um, go across to the website, fastshipperformance.com. I've got some articles there. And I've changed the website a little bit for you. Top right-hand corner, popular articles. Start there if you want to. You might find something you like. It's all about performance. It's all about aviation. It's all about getting ahead, whether you're a pilot or whether you're in business. It's the same thing, really. It's all a battle out there. We fully know that. Hey, thanks for listening. Tim Davies, Fastship Performance.